Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with Georgia and the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 12th and the 19th of May 2018. So we come from a very very intense week communication wise with agreements. <sighs> Do you think Trump is working with astrologers or is he just listening to all our forecasts and the things we have to say because he broke the, the I Iran uh, nuclear deal on the same, practically a day away from Mercury square Mars. <laughs> and four days away from uh, Mercury square Pluto, that's right. I was just going to say it, Georgia. You want to come on cam and say things instead of me? You know, why don't you come and explain the transits and I'll just sit and meow at the, at the, at the sidelines. How would you feel about that? Ah, I upset her. She got offended. So really what you can learn from that is that the Mercury square Pluto Mars is still in effect, will be in effect through the next couple of weeks because you are getting an intense Mars Uranus square in the sky as well. So communication wise, make sure that you're not misunderstood. Make sure you're not hurting anybody. If somebody is being too aggressive towards you, try not to get hurt and and try to calm things down because it is an intense time verbally psychologically mercury is in charge of how we think of the words we say the ideas we have how we navigate through our lives mars is our actions and when mars is going to square around us on the 13th i'm sorry on the 16th next week exactly when mars moves into taurus and I'm sorry, when uh, Uranus moves into Taurus and Mars moves into Aquarius, respectively. I'm going to talk about that as well in a second. So, very intense temper is very uh, a time for rebellion, a time for aggression, a time for um, lashing out and, and acting in, a f in, in force and in a speed that is. This is a blitzkrieg, okay? This is. Uh, this is acting sometimes too fast for your own good without thinking of the consequences. Although, uh, um, although Uranus is a cerebral planet, it talks about our higher mind and using logic, um, the reaching of conclusions could be so fast, instantaneous almost, that, uh, and, and the, the, the need to act upon that logical decision is uh, uh, comes spontaneously after that without thinking of any uh, forward movement consequences of how this is going to affect other people this is not a strategic square okay so watch that all through next week and yes we can see a lot of intense communications on the one hand and can see changes towards actions in communications as well with North Korea coming into China to talk again and uh, US uh, Secretary of State going to China as well so you know uh, the square to Pluto can change things as well and the square f f to Mars can demand action as well so not all bad Saturday the 12th we have the Sun trining Pluto reminding us that the power that we seek power that we need to go through this turbulence comes from within don't count on being uh, uh, um, held and cuddled or supported through this time if you look for support the more you look the more you lack now is the time to understand that the fire burns within you have an internal combustion engine <laughs> and you have to recognize it at this time uh, Mercury is going to square Mars Saturday the 12th it's an Aries moon as well so sensitive day Sunday the 13th moon squaring Mars another sensitive day Mercury moving into Taurus thank God you know chilling our minds and actions a little bit making things a little bit more feasible and consistent and we can't change our minds every minute anymore we need to root our ideas in reality, in the plane of, of uh, in the material plane, 
and our ideas need to be um, connected to reality much stronger than it was when it was in Aries. We're having the Mercury Uranus conjunction on that day as well. It's a time for epiphanies, it's a time for revelations, it's a, t it's a time that we can really um, discover all kinds of new uh, discoveries and uh, things that we've been trying to solve for many, uh, many, many, many times uh, can now come, finally come to a conclusion and to a solution. It's a time where we can think outside the box. Um, it's a time for discoveries, but it's also again a time in which we operate instantaneous, instantaneously and not really um, prepare the ground for our movement or move at a pace that is easy or comfortable for people around us. It's also a good time to work with groups. Monday, the 14th, Moon trying Saturn, good day for your career, a good day to do strategic things, good day to take responsibility upon your shoulder and uh, act maturely. Um, the Moon will help you on the 14th. 13th, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday, the 15th, it's a new moon day. Remember, two days before the new moon, one day after, imprinting time. Watch your energies, keep it clean, because that energy stays with you for the next lunar cycle. And that new moon is in Taurus, reminding us that we have to look away from all this hectic tension that we see around and connect to our bodies, connect to our senses, connect to our recharges, and really to our contentment. Um, and it's about the fact that we need tranquility and we need to feel good within our own bodies. It's about respecting that. It's about respecting the senses. It's about respecting yourself. It's about respecting pleasure and tranquility as they are and giving it a new start in your life. This uh, sun-moon conjunction, which is a new moon, is going to sextile Chiron so we could actually heal uh, wounded spots within our lives places that we've been feeling emotionally wounded can heal our uh, self-value, our self-worth can rise at this time. It also is in trying to uh, Mars Pluto, again saying that power comes from within, that we can have the intensity needed to go through these waters, we can have the energy needed to go through these waters and that trine also expands our um, horizons bringing a lot of new discoveries and understandings about ourselves about our lives that help us change that help us transform pluto and create forward movement mars wednesday the 16th we have the mars entering aquarius uranus enters taurus in an exact square um, I want to talk about a little bit about Mars in Aquarius. Um, this is a, a, a time that Mars can act instantaneously, very fast. Again, we talked about it in the beginning of the video. I'm not going to prolong. Um, we have to try to be more cerebral. We have to try to be a little disconnected from the ecstatic, not ecstatic, the erratic animal within us. And Uranus enters Taurus, well, that's exciting for me. I mean, I'm really excited towards this transit. It's going to take seven years for Uranus to move into another sign, and the next seven years are going to be so interesting. First of all, I'm a Taurus, so it's going to move across my sun, but um, Taurus has to deal with everything that we encounter in the material plane. The first thing we encounter in the material plane is our bodies. So the way we treat our bodies and the way we approach our bodies and the way we think conceptualize uh, uh, the ideas that we have around our bodies are going to change they're going to progress they're going to get a lot uh, uh, more advanced and technological and esoterical we're going to understand a lot of uh, of the esoteric ideas including astrology <coughs> and healing and all kinds of other uh, systems do work and we're going to find the uh, the scientific backing and research to back them up during the next seven years, mark my words, and as well as all kinds of other scientific and, and, and advanced research methods that are going to get corroborated and, 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 and get a strong hold on our material plane, on our reality, and change 
our bodies, change the way we deal with uh, assets, with money, with uh, materials, with uh, commodities, with land. <coughs> All of these subjects are up to radical change and advancement. So money is going to be much more esoteric, much more of a concept, much more of an idea much more technological or electronic or all things that are Iran Iranian in nature, as well as our bodies. We could see a lot more technology going into our bodies and, and the, the interface between machine and human starting to, to bridge. <clears throat> and we can see a lot of advanced methods of, med of uh, medication and, and, and uh, of course, uh, surgery and uh, medicine and even research itself is going to get propelled forward. Um, other than that, the way we, we, we deal with food, the way we grow our food, the way we um, utilize our, uh, our lands and our <coughs> everything we have within and on top of this wonderful land that we live in and on. So all of these things are going to become much more efficient during the next seven years and radically change. We're going to meet the future like we haven't met it for many, many decades. Thursday, the 17th, of course, we can still feel the Mars around the square. It's going to be turbulent. It's going to be volcanic for the next couple of weeks. Let's pray that everything is going to calm down and we're not heading into a big conflict. But the sky is turbulent and warm at this time and aggressive at this time. Thursday is a ceasefire, so to speak. We have the moon uh, conjunct Venus on that day. We could have a lot of satisfaction. I'm sorry for the background noise, the building. Um, so I'm sorry for that. So a lot of satisfaction on Thursday. The moon is at the perigee. It's closest to Earth. So we're going to feel the moon a lot. It's a great day for intimacy. It's a great day to host people that you love or to be hosted and to just be around people that you feel that you belong to and that you feel that are that love you and accept you that's a good thing to do on Thursday Friday the 18th Mercury trine Saturn our communication our uh, communications are very adult and mature and we say things as they should be said we put them well as we say in English and and uh, there's a strategic uh, mind frame on Friday and we could be a little apprehensive of trying new things because of that and because of the fact that the moon is going to oppose Saturn so Saturday the 19th Venus enters cancer more intimacy more childlike naivety within our relationships and the way we draw in funds and satisfaction is sextiling around us so we can try new things we haven't tried before and the moon is going to oppose Pluto on Saturday the 19th so just don't believe everything you say and <clears throat> don't be so sure that you're right and um, just plug your ass out uh, I'm sorry plug your head out of your ass pardon my French on Saturday the 19th and try not to be dogmatic or egotistic and self-centered so saying that I want to thank you for sharing I want to thank you for commenting and I want to thank you for uh, liking of course it expands the reach of these videos and of course for private lesson consultations or courses you're more than welcome to approach me on behalf of Georgia and myself I hope you, got, you had a pleasant flight and that the week ahead is going to be wonderful for you namaste thank you and goodbye